Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Now, so today we are doing something that I'm interested in. That heard a lot about it, hasn't tried it yet. People they say it might be my palate, but <clears throat> we don't know until I smoke it, right? So today we're doing the Grand Habano G A R. I hope I said that right. G A R, uh, American Standard, and this is in the size robusto. So, without further ado, cut to the B roll and look at this cigar. Grand Habano G A R American Standard. This particular one is in robusto size, five by fifty, and is selling for MSRP five dollar and fifty cents. The cigar is a Nicaraguan Puro, and so there's not much of uh, information on, on, on what's in there other than that it's from Nicaragua. Okay, which is kind of funny. I think um, somewhere I read that this is produced in Honduras was using Nicaraguan uh, tobacco. The leaf itself looks oily, shiny, but yet rough to me. So we'll see what the, how this performs. I, I'm not going to focus too much on the price itself on this particular one because it's already under my lowest price. So let's focus on experience on this particular one. Okay, so let's get started. I smell a little bit of damp, leafy, barnyard leatheriness. And yeah, just woodsy, leafy, and I think pepper is coming up too. I can't smell too much. It's got to burn my nose. All right. Cold draw. Really nice cut today. Today's a good day. Oh, the draw is good. Mm. It tastes like a mushroomy cotton candy. So yeah, kind of got to imagine that image. A mushroomy cotton candy yeah something like that don't kill me for it that's what I taste That little bit just doesn't want to light. What is that? Here we go. Mm. Smoke output is good.
Smoke output is really good. Holy shit. It's peppery. Black pepper. A little bit woodsiness. A little bit earthiness. Chocolate. Uh, definitely chocolate. A little bit charred notes. A little bit of mineral, just a little bit. All right. Oh, leather too, leather. Oh, is that leather or butter? What the hell? I'm gonna call it leather. Yeah, it's kind of weird, right? It's like sometimes the, the taste just for a split second turns to a different flavor right away. And then usually it's when it goes to your nose. And then you're like, oh, wait, well, which one was that? And then you take another puff, it's more clear, then you know. All right, so let me smoke one third and I'll be right back. Okay, we are at first third. And what that means, that's off a little bit. Take another puff. You know, this cigar, the first probably 20 puff, is very confused. You're like, ah, what's going on? And then once you hit that, you know, one third ish, it starts to burn evenly and all that stuff. Oh, man. It's got chocolate, it's got dark notes, it's got a little bit of pepper, not a lot. It's got um, that wet leafness, not yet musty. And it's got this like fermenty, mushroomy taste that goes with it. It's actually quite flavorful. And it's actually a good representation of what Nicaraguan tobacco tastes like. Like if you put a fuma together, that's probably how it tastes like too. Um, is it with a little bit more of layer and, and 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 different notes that come in a different time of that smoke, if that makes any sense. So it's actually not a bad little stick. I, I you know I'm I'm actually at first I was like oh man I'm gonna get in trouble for this. I'm gonna bash on a cigar that's not even expensive, and I smoked it and I was like ah, oh, it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad, you know. Uh, it does have that nuance of like a Grand Habano cigar. In fact, it reminds me a little bit of parts, parts, not the whole thing, parts of the blue and green from Grand Habano. Parts, okay. It, it kind of have that, but then it's more darker. It tastes darker. Yeah, it really does. It's like a cheaper version of... <laughs> of uh, uh, blue and green. And when I when I see a version, I don't remember how it costs. I I just think that this could be all right. Uh, it's it's just a little stick that reminds you of another stick that they also produce. And if this was any cheaper, this would be a good buy. I'm telling you. I should look it up how much it costs before I say that, huh? I will look it up while we're on the thing. Blue and green. Robusto. Probably the same amount of money. I mean, both are good. I mean, I really like the blue and green, though. Bought an entire box, smoked the entire box, so no complaint in that one. All right. Blue and green uh, Robusto is a little bit more expensive. Yes. So $8, roughly $8. $10, $8.20. It depends on where you buy them. Um... Actually, no, $9.50. Some places sell for $9.50. So this one is the more budget-friendly, pocket-friendly version of that with a little bit of more darker notes, if that makes any sense. I think the blue and green is slightly smoother. This one is just darker. It's more punchy. Um, the strength... It's about it, man. 
mild to medium, mild to medium. But I, I got, I'm, I'm smoking it really quickly because this thing tastes pretty good. Now the band is giant, so I had to take down the band uh, after the first stir. But here it goes. That's the band. I don't know what GAR stands for, so don't ask me. I, I really don't. I really don't. Oh, never mind. It stands for George A. Rico. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just saw the one on next to it. It's like George A. Rico. Okay, yeah, so that's what it is. American Standard GR. All right, pretty, pretty like, you know, themed, you know, it's like, you know, very, very like, oh, American Texas kind of thing, well, you know, but obviously it's not Texas. I'm just saying that feels like that, you know, it's like got, got an ego, got the stars on it, got gold, got blue, got white, got red. So, yeah, very um, America cigar, but yeah, second there. Let's go through it. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. By the way, I'm drinking Coke Zero. And that was good pairing. So, second third. Be right back. Second third. Oh, man, this cigar. It just died. Because I was... Um, I dust off that ember. Or the... The whatever. But this cigar... I would say it's a lot of flavor for this. I mean, uh, I kind of enjoy it. I, I'm not gonna lie about this. It's just, even though it's a relatively very affordable cigar, but the smoke output is ridiculous, ridiculous. Every time I light it up, ridiculous. And um, the flavor, second, third, got it's sweeter. It's got that sweetness to it. It adds to that, you know, the the, the chocolate, the woodiness. The fermenty kind of mushroomness I mentioned in the pepper, and then a little bit of mineralality. It actually it shines for a a Nicaraguan cigar. Like if you just want to taste how Nicaraguan cigar tobacco should taste like, it's amazing for what it is. Right, and and I can say that this this tobacco. It's probably no different than some of the higher priced end cigars. Because it burns well. It tastes good. It's got fl flavor. Minus that first few puff. Uh, the first few puff was kind of blend. It's kind of confusing. But like I'm smoking down the second third. It was more like before I knew it, I'm down the second third. So that's a good sign. That telling me that I, you know, I'm smoking this with no guilt because it's pocket friendly. Right? And or wallet friendly, if you can call that, and and overall is 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 delivering flavor through and throughout. It's not it's not like I will forget about it. Yeah, it's sweet. It's sweet and nice. I'm definitely puffing it too much because it pepper starts to come up a little bit. It's a light, relaxing cigar. It's not a lot of strength. I like it. This could be, honestly, for the strength that's giving and the way the the flavor profile is giving. If this was any smaller, it would be my, all my it would be my normal between cigar because it's it's flavorful and doesn't cost a lot of money, and it doesn't have a lot of strength to get me sick. It's not bad for what it is. I I need to, I need to go to, cut over to. The last third because I keep smoking and you'll be down to like straight to to somewhere because I just keep puffing on it. So I'll be right back. All right, finally finished. I'm gonna knob this thing because it's so good. It's not bad at all. Last third still a lot of flavor too. So can't complain about the cigar. Uh, I was I thought you know after the first few puff I thought I'm gonna get in trouble because I'm gonna bash the crap out of this. But as it get better and better, it's just more and more flavor. You know, Laster usually drops off, but because this is like kind of the thing, it's it's quite balanced. It's not it's not gonna fall off. It's not falling off. It still has a lot of flavor. In fact, I think if this is any longer, it probably have more flavor. Probably have more flavor. So not bad, not bad at all. Now usually. I told you guys this before, any cigar is at least $6. But I think this cigar exceeded 
my expectation after a little bit a little bit past the first uh, around the first third at near the, the end of the first third it started to get really really good so i'm gonna give it a price of 750 750 to eight dollar i think this cigar is qualified for 750 to eight dollar So just under a blue and green because I I think I still I think I still prefer blue and green better because this one is a little bit uh, one dimensional compared to the blue and green, but this thing's got flavor that nuance that reminds me of that that cigar. So just under it, seven to eight dollars. I think that's a fair price for this one, but you can pick it up for five fifty. So why not? Why not? I think this is pretty good, uh, especially for like a relaxing cigar in the morning and you like the darker note, you don't like Connecticut. This thing doesn't have that much strength that would just like kick you, you know? And, and you can smoke this as the first cigar of the day, second cigar of the day between the cigars if you want to. Not bad of a cigar. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I like it. I like it. Sometimes you can just enjoy a, a, a pricey cigar. Sometimes you can enjoy a cigar that's very friendly to your pocket. Why not? Why not? It's not very complex, but it's got flavor. It's got flavor. For me, um, just when I start to say, oh, I'm starting to get bored, the cigar is done. So I'm okay with that. I'm really is okay with that. I'm still puffing on it, so it tastes good. So that would be it for this particular review. If, I, uh, if you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, talk about this thing. Go get some for yourself, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.